This is HP's new multi-jet fusion technology printing in Nylon 12, actual real world parts and we are one of the few companies in the country that can help you put this technology to use today in your product. The holy grail is to be able to print a part like this or whatever your part may be and not have tooling cost. And that's what we can do with this new technology. Hi, my name is Jonathan Wilkie. I'm with GoProto. We offer prototyping and production services for new product development. Let's get this done. So that means when customers come to us and they're doing new product development, they are looking for a supplier that can uh, produce prototypes for them quickly and also think about downstream from a standpoint of production. So usually it'll start with additive manufacturing or 3D printing, however you want to refer to it. And if you have the need to go to production volumes, we can handle that as well. As a engineer, you're used to traditional 3D printing technology in nylon. The issues with this technology is speed, accuracy, and resolution. What if I told you I have a better solution? HP's new multi-jet fusion technology takes care of all three of those. It's three times as fast, it's better accuracy, and it's better resolution on feature detail. That prints in nylon 12 that will produce in-use real-world parts for production use. We have one of the first machines in the country. And this is geared for not just prototypes, but also low-volume production. Nice thing is being able to do stuff like that. So you can print stuff that is um, impossible to make any other way. Not only is HP a game changer for the additive world, but printing metal is a game changer. Uh, you may have heard about, this is all public knowledge of course, GE's new uh, LEAP engine uh, that they're producing for commercial jets. And all of their fuel nozzles will be 3D printing. So the holy grail for metals is being able to do stuff that is not machinable. You can see we have a lattice structure in here. Right? So it makes it lighter weight. We save material. Where it ties back into aerospace is the lighter the parts, the more they save on fuel. One of the things about printing in metal is now you have to retrain your brain to think about how can I actually utilize this technology to better produce a part. So this is aluminum, printed in aluminum. This is printed in titanium. The medical industry loves it as well. This is a perfect example. This is an implantable device that is a orthopedic repair device for somebody's bone. We can actually take CT scan data and we can design a part. It'll custom fit to the patient's uh, anatomy. So we can print in elastomeric materials now, so TPU materials. Um, and it's coming off our FDM machine. The nice thing about it is being able to do flexible stuff like this. Our FDM fuse deposition modeling machines allow us to print in multiple materials and multiple colors. So it's got three heads in the machine, three print heads. So one's for support and the other two's for material. But it is a engineer's playground because before when they're designing parts, they have to think about how are we gonna manufacture it, right? Well now, with 3D printing in metal, or even 3D printing in plastics, you can, whatever you can design, we can make. And you have the material capabilities now to where you can use it as an in-use real-world part. You can heat treat this. People do like to heat treat parts afterwards to get the strength and the rigidity out of them. We can heat treat this if you want to do that. We can also EDM cut it. You can treat it just like a machi regular machine part, but now you have features on there that you can print that there's no other way to machine. A lot of people ask about tolerancing. If you have tight tolerances that you need to hit on a 3D printed metal part, what we can do is we can add machining stop to the CAD file, print it with that stop, and then machine it down to hit the tolerances you need. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.